Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy with another time-saving tip for you in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the spin loop preset animation to endlessly loop or spin an object with a hand-drawn stop motion feel. And I am using version 24.1.0 at the time of this tutorial. So if you do not have the spin loop preset animation, be sure to update your version of After Effects. Okay, so my composition is 1920 by 1080 pixels, five seconds in duration. I just have two pre-comps. One is a background, it has this felt texture, and I have a little animation over the top using a blend mode just to give it some movement. Then the second pre-comp is just the orange and a logo, and I just pre-compose them together so the logo would spin with the orange. And to animate the orange and make it spin or loop forever the easy way, I'm going to use an animation preset by going to the effects and presets panel. If you don't see that in your workspace, go to the window menu and choose effects and presets. Before adding the animation preset, drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline or to the position where you want the animation to start. And you'll also want to center the anchor point on your object or layer. To center the anchor point, just select the layer, hold command on a Mac, control on Windows, and just double click on the pan behind tool up in the toolbar. Then go up to the Effects and Presets panel, twirl open the Adobe After Effects folder, then twirl open Presets, then twirl open Adobe Express. And again, if you do not have the Adobe Express folder, be sure to update your version of After Effects to at least version 24.1.0 or later. Then twirl open the Looping folder, select Spin Loop, and just drag it right on top of the layer or right on top of the object right on the comp window. Tap the spacebar, and just like that, you have an endlessly spinning or looping animation. Then go to the effect controls panel where you can fully customize the spin loop animation preset. All of these properties make up the recipe for this preset animation. And any value or number that you see in red, that indicates there's an expression on that property. So if you try to change those numbers, it's just gonna go back to the default property. So you wanna customize any of the properties that are not in red. So let's look at some of the things that you can customize for this spin loop animation preset. The first is personality, and this is gonna to totally change the animation. There's a drop down menu with some different options. It's currently set to energetic, so you see it's kinda of got that stop motion herky jerky feel, but you could change it to something like soft. You see it's gonna get a lot smoother. Then you can come down here to the direction and you can change it from going counterclockwise to clockwise, for example. And if you really want to slow down the animation, you'll use the intensity slider. So the default's at 50, but if I bring it down to zero, for example, you're going to see it's just going to be very slow spinning. So you'll definitely want to play around with personality, direction, and intensity. I like this loud setting. It gives it this kind of hesitation wiggle that has a nice natural feel to it. And just a little tip. Once you get the animation looking the way you want it, if you have a little glitch at the end of your loop and you wanna make it more seamless, just take the work area and drag it until you get a perfect loop and then just trim the composition to that work area. If you make a bunch of customizations and you wanna save a custom preset so you can use it in any one of your projects, just select all the properties, go to the animation menu at the top and choose save animation preset. And that'll show up in the user presets folder over in the effects and presets panel. And if you want to remove a preset, maybe you wanna try out some of the other animation presets, just select the layer, go to the top menu, go to effect and choose remove all. So this animation took me about five seconds to make. I added a circle shape layer, and then I added my M logo on top. I went to the effects and presets panel and I just dragged down the spin loop onto each layer. For the logo layer, I set that to loud in counterclockwise direction. Then for the circle layer underneath, I set that to smooth and clockwise. So it's going in the reverse directions. I just customized the intensity a little bit to make it change. So the next time you need to endlessly spin something, maybe a bike or a car tire or your logo or text, try out the spin loop preset animation in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.